Hi guys, this is Larissa with Be You Beautiful One. Welcome to my channel. So glad that you are here setting up my Erin Conjure and Horizontal Life Planner for the week of the 13th through the 19th using my Simply Gilded Planted Garden Stickers. Oh my gosh, guys, this kit is so beautiful and I'm so happy that I got it. In addition, I'm going to be using washi tape from the kit as well i don't know which one yet but <laughs> one of those and then i'm going to be using some also paper sticker dolls they're called mini isa along with the checklist washi tape from capital sheet i am so excited to finally use this subscription kit the washi tape is gorgeous. This is my favorite one out of the collection. I have a few of them, but that's one of my favorite ones. So I think I will start off with that. And as you guys know, I like to cover that bar that is at the top. Um, I'm going to go ahead and white it out a little bit because it is going to show through the washi tape and I don't want it to. So uh <laughs> you guys know i'm not the best with washi tape devices but i try my best but this washi tape is just beautiful i love all of the colors it's green spring going into the summer months and i'm just really am excited to use it uh, and it kills me that i really just don't know which washi tape that i really really just want to use because I want to use all of the floral print, printed ones, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it may be a little bit too much, but I figure I will feature this particular washi tape at the top. It is so pretty. And I think what I'm going to do is use a mini... Uh, washi tape like a five millimeter washi tape I'm gonna go ahead and use this muted mint pink washi tape and it has like an embroidery um, and gold foil is like a mixture of leaves and hearts and dots and it's pretty but it's simple and I figure that way it's not so busy and clashing with the washi tape that I put at the top I'm just gonna go ahead and put this washi tape in between each day of the week. And I haven't done that in a while, so I figured it was time for me to try that again. I really am excited about using um, this particular collection. It reminded me of a garden that used to be by my workplace. I since then changed work locations, and it was so nice to be able to I would probably have to take like a, a two block walk to get to this Zen park and it had like a, a walking trail around it and the birds were chirping. You had those cherry blossom trees that were around the pond and you had the bridges and the waterfalls. It was just beautiful. And I have to tell you the truth. I miss that right now. Uh, <laughs> I long to be able to just take a walk around a beautiful garden, which I still can do, but um, I'm very cautious of where I go because I don't want to expose myself nor my family um, to anything. And although people are out walking and so forth, I don't want to necessarily go to a park because for what I understand, there are a lot of people at the park and I don't want any like mishaps. So what I've been doing is taking walks around my apartment complex, especially around like lunchtime when there's not a lot of people out uh, because I take a pretty late lunch. And so by that time, you know, uh, people have let their kids run outside a little bit and have gotten back indoors to start back on their homework. So yeah but this is what this reminds me of so i think it's refreshing it's beautiful it's delightful and it's something beautiful that i can look at in my planner as i use it for the week 
Okay, moving on to the actual sticker sheets. I really would like to use my um, sticker sheets from my Simply Gilded collections more often than not. And I have been putting them in my sticker Smithsonian Museum. And so I'm really proud of myself for saying, Larissa, get out here and use your Simply Gilded sticker kit. <laughs> I've been doing really good this year, guys. I am so proud of myself because I do have some boxes that I have not even used yet because I thought the stickers were so pretty and I just didn't want to use them because I always was saving them for something special. Now I'm just like, whatever. Today is special, especially right now. If you're living, breathing, and you have a reasonable portion of yourself, you are blessed today is special so I'm going for it <laughs> I decided to go ahead and put down my checklist washi tape first and honestly I was just thinking about going straight down but uh nah I just didn't like how it looked covering um the washi tape that I had just put down so I probably next time what I'll do is I might try putting it down first and then covering up the checklist across the bar, um, the horizontal bar uh, with my other washi tape. I might see how that works the next time just to play with things. So far I am picking up that I like to have my checklist to the far right. I try to like switch things up at times but for some reason that checklist I like that area it's my go-to area to mark off my different tasks that I want to focus on for the day so yeah and I thought it would be cute to put this particular doll up into the floral washi tape because I love this pink dress she has on it reminds me of, of my uh, days when I would wear like low cuts <laughs> I'm a little bit more modest now but I love a good low cut so I just thought it was very pretty and I would put it up by the floral washi tape just to I just thought it would be prettier up there so and then I have been waiting to use these gold foil boxes I've probably used them here and there but I was like ooh I hesitate to use them because they are a pretty bold statement to me to use those gold foil boxes I don't know why maybe because it's just all on one sheet you know like that and it just sticks out to me but once I layered it up under um, the stickers you know it wasn't that bad and <laughs> it was funny because I really wanted that original gold foil box to stay down but when I went to go and readjust the Simply Gilded sticker it pulled up the whole entire sticker and um, including uh, the foil box and when I try to pull them apart so I could reposition the Simply Gilded sticker, it just tore it apart. So I just tossed it and got another one because I got plenty of them. And that sticker there with the bird and the goat moon says, have courage in your own wings. What a perfect way to start off a Monday. Refresh, renew, have courage. And a lot of times that means something towards you know I remember one time when my mom was like she was encouraging me as a younger person I was like you know what you have everything that it takes to do what you want to do you have the skill set you have the education you have the practical knowledge get out there and just do it and sometimes you just have to spread your wings and step out and just go for it right <laughs> and so I love that sticker it's so encouraging to me so um, I, I particularly like that quote and it is a good reflective quote and even today in this season of time this is where you know we can really explore 
different um, skill sets or uh, possible adventures we would like to take. You know, I still work my full time job. I still have a full, you know, so I'm thankful for that. So I really feel like I don't have that much more time than what I usually have. Um, <laughs> and actually, the it's a different mindset that I have to have. And so I feel like I'm still like getting in my rhythm. I'm a lot better today than I was almost a month ago that I've been working from home, but it's still a, a different weight uh, working from home. And I know once I get really used to it and, um, and so forth, it'll probably be time for me to go back. <laughs> but right now I'm enjoying it and I thank God for it. But for those of you guys who have the luxury of having a little bit more time, free time of of exploration go for it get your feet wet be bold be courageous those of you guys who want to start a youtube channel just start if you have a, a phone with a camera you're you're halfway there sign up on youtube and just start i'm not perfect but I'm at a year mark now of putting on content in addition to like um, devotional studies. And I am so proud of myself. I may have had some challenges along the way, but the skill sets that I have learned along the way are very practical and have has given me the guts to try things and explore things. I am not the best decorative planner out there, but that's okay. This is helping me to stay in the game. I thank God that I have like a creative outlet that if no one watches my videos, I get pleasure out of my videos, of doing my videos. And I can reflect back onto where I was at a year ago and see my growth, not just in decorative style, but I'm talking about having the courage to share a certain amount of information. I'm very private and so I'm still pretty private, but I have shared a lot more information about myself, about um, my home environment and so forth than I ever imagined that I would. And I think that's really cool. So yeah, all of that from one sticker, guys. It could get really deep, right? But that's why I love decorative planning because when I open up my pages, I can think about, ooh, here's a, a quote that really encouraged me and I need to get up off my tush and get the ball moving. So I really like that. And sometimes decorative planning is just not decorative planning just for the sake of it when I sit down to do my setup for the week for the month I actually sometimes more than not put a lot of thought behind something and even if I don't have like a whole system of thought in place as I'm laying things down I try to find a purpose for why I'm doing it so yeah, um, <laughs> right now I'm doing a voiceover, but my original recording I talked about, uh, I reflected on my Easter weekend this week. And these are pretty colors where it makes me reflect on, um, on, on springtime and what that means in the Easter, you know, celebration and having to be at home and how that is different now than what it was even last year, than what it was when I was a kid and I had to stand on the um, uh, stage and give my, you know, Easter speech and stuff like that. So, <laughs> so to me, what I'm doing this, it's very therapeutic for me. I actually space out sometimes, uh, which is why I tend to do a voiceover because I get to talking and talking and talking and talking while I'm decorative planning. And before you know it, I done, I've said so much, <laughs> you know, 
but I that's why I really love doing this and like I said I just thank God that I have uh, uh, an additional creative outlet um, it's helping me keep connected to the planning community the journaling community uh, my spiritual or Christian network community so yeah it's fabulous but I'm um, getting back to my layout <laughs> I totally didn't tell you guys about the other page, but I'll get back to it. So what I did is um, I sort of alternated a doll with a full box sticker um, with the full box sticker laying on top of, of a colorful box sticker. And I really like the one by the 15th. Um, that also paper doll has on a blue jean jacket with a white tee and a colorful skirt with a cute purse. And it's just very lighthearted, but yet fun. Um, still could be uh, business casual and so forth. And then as we switch over to Sunday, I have that other also paper doll that has on a cute jean dress. And then of course on Sunday, I got the also paper doll rocking the Sunday outfit. Guys, I cannot forget about the day when you went to church and you got dressed up, whether it was dressed up fashionably casual or dressed up, dressed up. So I love that sticker right there. Now I'm just going back through and I'm adding some decorative stickers. I really love these full box stickers. That one on the 16th there that I'm placing a butterfly down by the checklist. That is a beautiful oriental inspired sticker. I just love it. And um, it's this whole collection has one of my favorite colors in there, which is corals. I love corals, pinks, yellows, reds. I, I love all the warm, vibrant colors. I love fuchsia now. I used to didn't love fuchsia and hot pink, but now I love those two. So uh, <laughs> I decided to add just a little bit of the decorative stickers um, at the bottom and sprinkle it all around. Basically, those were the butterflies. And then you have the little bird on the bottom of the right hand side page uh, with the two florals that I thought was very pretty. And so I love this spread, guys. It's, 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 it's busy but simple at the same time. And it's fun, it's beautiful, and I truly enjoyed it. And I just am excited to get my plans written in here for the week. Here's a closer look at the left-hand side of the page. Look at those flowers, aren't they beautiful? And that fancy sticker at the top right-hand corner is gorgeous. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you will continue to join me. Please share, like my videos and share with your friends. And yeah, just remember to subscribe like and turn on those notification bells so that you can continue to be notified whenever I go live or post new videos. Thank you for joining me and until the next time, bye!